morning everybody, I'm just out doing my usual. So I'm gonna put some uh, hot water in the bird bath first. Just hold on there, yeah. I usually do this for the birds because the freezing. Easy, look at this. Oh yeah, baby, look. They're coming out for their uh, sauna, the daily sauna. Yes. Eat them. It's a bird in that tree over there. So yeah, uh, I don't really usually do. I can't stand. To be honest, I can't really. I don't really like. YouTube type daily things like this, but uh, oh, I can't stand all the rubbish that's going on just now. I've got to speak up, or at least try and. A lot of people feel very depressed and very, uh, well, to be honest, quite a few suicides are up by 300% in Britain just now, so. There's a lot of nonsense going about. It's making people very, very scared and. It's not, it's not right. And I'm an old guy now, so I need to get up to the plate and start speaking about stuff. So that's what I'm gonna do. See you in a bit. Look, it's my house. There's my house. Yeah, there's my, uh, I don't know, it's kind of a sun housey type thing. I bought it just over a year ago and done it up. Well, I'm not doing it up. It's a lot of work yet. Uh, there we go. Well, just popping it in the house now. Uh, down in my underground basement section. Uh, uh, it's really cheesy, but I've got the uh, ISO on auto. Don't usually do that, but uh, it saves a lot of time. So that's why it's insanely light in here when it's actually quite dark. Okay, so I'm just getting my my X and uh, going to do some chopping, wood chopping. Uh, what else? Got a few jobs today. I've got to do some web stuff. I've got to sort some video clips, and um, got to do some chopping this wood. So let's do some chopping. Here to what we go. So as you can see, my house in the background. Again, ISO and auto. Really cheesy. Really awful. But uh, save time. Get the bird bath going. Still icy. I put some hot water in earlier, but uh, it's still icy. Look. It's about one degree today. So, uh, wow. Right, here we go. There's a section down here. I call it my tree chopping processing area. Basically, I've got loads of stuff we chopped off of all these trees here. Took some trees down chopped them into bits, put them in this corner here. Uh, I chopped them roughly and then put them under the trees to semi-dry. It's about the best I can do. And then over here to that section over there, uh, I take the smaller pieces, put them under this tree here to dry a little bit. It's not perfect drying, but until I build something that will dry the wood properly. So this is where I compost stuff. I don't know if you can see that okay. My hand shaking. I'm using my cheap Canon camera, so it, there's no uh, in uh, in body stabilization. It all it's all handled by the uh, lens. For those anoraks out there that like camera stuff. Uh, so this is my area here. I put all the rough stuff in here. There we go. Oh, would you believe it? It's stuck. Nuts. Well. It's stuck, I'm going to have to do it another day. <sighs> Would you believe it? That's it now. Right, inside here, you got your usual stuff. What's that? Oh, weird. A plug! I've been waiting for that everywhere. Cheapers. Oh well. Oops. So this is where I put all my usual stuff. You've seen it all before. But here's a slightly clever bit. Uh, is that once that's all broken down, uh, I shovel it all down, down here. 
lip breakdown and then I uh, sort of use uh, various implements and break that down even further and pop it over here like so. So this is my really good stuff. Look at this stuff. A lot of things get underneath it. Now just look at, look at that. That's bonny. That's perfect for growing next year. So there we have it. Brief intro to some of my backyard nonsense. If you look across here, you'll see, uh, as you do, uh, if I look down here, yeah, it's, it's a tennis ball, and I'll show you why. Because we have a tennis courts. I don't know if you can see them, but they're all iced up. But you get these tennis courts at the bottom of my garden. Very posh. So we've got very posh tennis courts at the bottom of our garden for the locals. I haven't been on them yet. There's my chopping area. Here we go. Chippy chop. Don't know where to put this camera. So I'm going to start chopping in a bit. I don't have a tripod, so I can't really. Oh, wait a minute. I'll tell you what. I'll try this. Hey, look at that. Fabulous. Um, can't angle it up. Oh, that's not bad. Not bad. Okay. Plug. I'm just doing bits and pieces. Get these from my brother Gary, who's a carpenter. Thank you, Gags. Don't worry. This is going to hit the camera in a second. Watch. And give this a nice bit here a try. Thank you, Gary, for this. Look at that. Beautiful. This is frozen. It gets very cold in Aberdeen. Uh, yeah, mental health. Um, it's not really in the realm of mental health, just keep your brain happy and all the rest. Jesus helps me, um, obeying his commandments, all the New Testament, keeps me sane and keeps me happy, keeps me centered, keeps me close to this stuff here. Because he's the creator, so he's got good, he's very smart much smarter than I am and he's got some great advice guidelines and stuff in the old part of the book as well as the new part so um, I try and stick by them much as I can much as I possibly can in the 21st century and it keeps my mind away from all the nonsense going on that's going on I'll speak about that later see you in a bit so I've got my Bits of sticks and things for the old fire. Just popping back under here. Into my wee basement. Okay, here we are. <laughs> Fiona thinks I'm speaking to her. It's okay, I'm uh, speaking with the camera. Getting a bit nuts down here. No. Mental health. Okay. So, uh, I'm very lucky because I've got this basement area. Uh, I've got a music studio upstairs. Okay, a bit rough, but it. it kind of functions. I'll show you that at some point. Um, and uh, various other things. I mean, I'll speak more in depth about it later, but um, the heart and men mental health is dealing with reality. Okay, so if you spend all your life with the television and the radio and the internet, guess what? You're gonna be living in an awful lot of unreality. There's a lot of bad people out there once you consume their agenda. So they, we can go along and go, whatever you say, we'll do it. Yes, we'll bow to you. Anything you want to do with us and do to us. Um, if you live like that, your mental health will go down fast. You've got to, you've got to get your life back. Get control over your life back, okay? 
even if it's in your in a domestic setting, in your work setting, amongst your relatives, your friends, particularly your kids, and your family. You, you're in charge. If you're a father or mother, you are in charge of your family, not the government, not the companies, and all these other. I shouldn't have said. Oops, that's my video <laughs> taken off air straight away. Okay, so this has been going a long time. It's not just it's not just the big bad V companies. This kind of thing's been going on for centuries. Um, it's getting really bad in the 20th because of the, the role of uh, various technologies and communication technologies. It's actually been hyped up even more than other times and happens very fast. The internet is very, very, extremely fast. Things change very fast. So it's because of things happening very fast, uh, people can't actually track with what's going on because the faster it happens, the more difficult it is to track historically from roots to tree to fruit how the thing is actually developing and growing. So people are going, well, what the heck's going on here? We don't know. You've got to go back to the roots of how it began. And most of it began a couple of centuries, two, three centuries ago. Uh, some of the various things that are looking at your fruit now, I'll go into that later. But for now, get your life back. Stop listening to these people. Get your life back and under some kind of control. You be in charge of your daily routine, your uh, your family's daily routine. If that means going to see somebody, you, know, you take some risks. I mean, you may be fined, you may be hurt in some way by the authorities, but you've got to. You you're in charge of your mental health, okay? You're in charge of the, the health of your family, and it's time you step up to the plate, especially you Scottish guys. Come on. Stop being wusses. Take a bit of responsibility. Stop leaving it to the authorities. Oh, they know what they're doing. They don't care about you. They never have. It's only... It's not that they're getting bad and evil just now. It's always been like that. It's just they're starting to show their teeth. The vaccine gold rush itself is worth... It's... It, you can't compute it. Because you're opening up a brand new adult market for vaccinations. Worldwide. Seven billion people. Uh, twice... Um, a month or whatever it is that they want, eventually want to pull off. You're talking quadrillions forever. Every new virus is a new market. And also the new vaccines are more like software installations that can be upgraded on a subscription basis. It's very different from all the vaccines. They were bad enough, but these are He's way ahead. So uh, I'm not talking about chips and things. That's just uh, that's misinformation. It's being put out there to make people look bad. But there are genuine concerns. Um, don't say no, but say stop. Give me time to think about it. Give me time to research it. I want independent testing, short-term testing, long-term testing. And then I will make an evaluation because I'm responsible for me and my family and all the rest of it. And it it's on my... So my watch as a parent uh, and as a, an individual before God, I face him with however my children are being abused or used uh, by others. Um, so don't let them stick things in them until you find out what they're sticking in them. Please, you know, have a bit of sense. Get away from the, the idiot box and start to think, start to get some proper research done, start to rethink really for yourself. It's not, that compl it's not as complicated as make it out to be. Anyway, I'll get back to all that. This is just a start off. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not really, I've, I've stayed away from YouTube, doing stuff on YouTube because it's, I'm not a natural. You know, I'm really uncomfortable even doing this. I'm, I feel like a total twit. I feel like a show off or something. I, I just don't like it, you know, but there's a lot of people in pain, a lot of people struggling and um, a lot of people I love and a great deal of you know, they're, they're terrified of what's happening next and they don't need to be. You know, we need a bit of, we need to laugh at it all and get back a bit of common sense, a bit of humour, a bit of life, a bit of control over our own situation. You know, if you need to see a friend or your, your mum's hurting or your, your, your kids need you, go and visit them. Anyway, that's just a start. Uh, thank you for uh, putting up with Venice, my little bunker here. Oh, look, look at the day, look, look at the sun shining. Look at that. The birds are whistling. Look at the steam rising from the ground. Isn't that beautiful? Those of you who got cameras, get out of your cameras. These have got video cameras, get out of your video cameras. 
get to see the beauty that's around you. This is the creator's stuff. The creator's made this wonderful world. And they're trying to hide it from us. They're trying to hide the creator from you. Don't you understand? Because if you get away from the creator, you get away from his life. His joy. You get away from his stuff. This is his stuff. Don't let them fool you. Get your life back. Get your life back in Jesus' name. Come on. Come on. Be daft. Anyway. See you in a bit. Where did that come from? Find it in the, the composter. <laughs>